Hello traders again welcome back to another video for so today I'm going to take trade with candlestick psychology so we can analyze the chart and uh, we can move to the euro GBP here we can see a strong uptrend now here also we can see uh, by yes are entering but there is a there is a breakout in the left side and okay here I'm going to place a call option because oh it's a uh, little bit late on day because of the fast momentum I placed here call option because of that weak bearish candle okay at the sellers area I'm seeing a weak bearish candle means buyers want to go more up that's why I placed here a call option and also uh, everyone must watch the video completely because at the edu at the education part I will explain the reasons of all of these trades so that will definitely help you to make clear about all these trades but I don't know why sellers are entering but most of the time the at least for one minute again the buyer will enter but slate entry also okay you can see oh I lose here again we can go with bias okay this one should be definitely winning trade I lost that one uh, because of my late entry my prediction was correct here there is no low rejection so I'm going to place a put option here also we can go with sellers here there is no opportunity oh there is a there is a round number below actually I don't found that and also there is a level I agree that but I placed a put option because there is no lower rejection that's why but the market I think it's directly reversed here after hitting that round number so if the bullish candle again the seller will uh, try to reach that level so I'm going to place a put option after this definitely this one should be bearish here it was a winning trade I will explain the reason in the education part here it was also winning trade here I am going to place a call option again because it's still a strong candle and I don't find any enough rejection that's why I placed here a call option here we can see sellers are entering Here the market is moving again and again upside but sometimes it is giving some fake moments right so that's the problem of the OTC so when you are trading in the OTC just go with the trend or momentum okay that should be more good okay both are winning trade okay it's a confirmation to go with bias but I don't trade here okay after this uh, we can trade we need to wait for the candle to close so I expect that everyone going well here uh, it's very strong uptrend and now we can see it's rejecting just I'm going to avoid that and here strong sellers entry we need a confirmation candle today I take only confirmed trades okay here there is a rejection so I'm going to place a call option okay it's a confirmed trade because now the market is closed at the bias area and also uh, there is a rejection okay here 
okay if it come down again okay i'm going to place a call option okay very good entry i place my order exactly at the support area so the sellers when the sellers hit that point it should reject and close above okay we can see that is a round number also i expect that should uh, close above that round number because that level is working okay it's rejecting and we can see it close just above my entry and it was also winning trade that's how trading on the basis of the rejection point and here also we can see it was also winning trade here uh, it's better to place a call option with some margin of safety uh, sometimes the sellers may make retracement uh, okay here i'm going to place a call option okay i don't get my order no problem but if i get an entry just wait i will draw a line one second okay if i get an entry just below of this line then that should be good okay otherwise uh, don't trade blindly because sometimes the market may i don't know why this much sellers and okay we can see it's rejecting you can see it's close just above okay or exactly at that point so here after this it's better to go with sellers so i'm going to place a put option here because after an engulfing i'm not seeing the right retracement candle here okay and also there is a level i'll draw that the market is respecting that level and that's why i placed here a put option don't worry i will clearly explain the reasons in the education part okay that's why i placed a put option here then uh, everyone will get clear idea about these trades so here the market is moving like this it's respecting that's why i placed a put option here okay this one also winning trade anyway i think uh, it's better to stop here because i need to make the education part and uh, i will explain the reasons of all of these trades and today i think i placed totally seven or eight trades and one was loss i think and uh, uh, the first winning trade so everyone uh, welcome to the education part okay we can start from here that's why i placed a call option in this candle here if you observe the market we can see the buyers are going upside right there is a bias movement okay bias are strong we can see so many bullish entry it's going again and again upside and also we need to consider the level in the left side here we can see sellers entry from this point right so there is a level here okay that's why we can see market reversals here also it's rejected here also we can see some strong rejection here also which means there is a level here and also we can see strong sellers entry from that point okay which means that level is working but here what we can see here it's a strong candle and now it's become i mean the sellers become very weak right in the left side we can see strong sellers candle but in the right side we can see only weak candle it's a doji okay it's a doji and also we can see that there is a breakout here right the market just wait the market reversed from this point previously in the left side but now it's broke that level and this one closed above okay above that point and it's a big bearish candle it's very weak bearish candle but previously we can see strong bearish candle in the left side right but now the sellers become very weak and also buyers made new high here okay buyers made new high and sellers become very weak okay so that's why i placed a call option in this candle okay because of the weakness okay we know that the resistance is the area of sellers 
but in front of seeing a strong bearish candle now i am seeing a weak bearish candle and previously we can see the bias made a new high here also okay the bias want to reach at least to this point okay so that's why i placed a call option in this candle but it was a late entry actually my prediction was correct here it was a bullish candle but because of late entry i lost this trade but suddenly i covered my loss in the next trade because again it made a new high okay so i covered that loss in the next trade okay we can move to that one okay we can discuss this one that's why i placed a call option in this candle and we can see it was a winning trade here we can see that there is a level in the left side right we already discussed about that level and also about the weakness of sellers okay so after that what we can see again a bullish candle right it's made a new high okay it's made a new high and we know that the next possible reversal is far from this point right far from this closing point okay and also if you observe here we can see that this candle made a new high and failed to make a new low okay it failed to make a new low already we saw the sellers are very weak okay and also there is a breakout here so after that breakout this level will act as a support if the sellers try to go down it may come down and reject from this level and it should go up okay that's the most probability here okay because it's a bias interest next level is far okay next level is far from this closing point okay if it try to go down we know that it will act as a support and after hitting it should go up and form a bullish candle like this okay so that's the reason why i place the call option with confidence so we can move to the next one okay we can discuss this one that's why i place the put option in this candle and we can see it was also winning trade here if you observe here after a bias movement here we can see a evening star pattern right and also after that we can see a retracement so after we can see a gap up open here right there is a gap up open and it was a bearish candle it's a weak bearish candle and also i know that most of the people may take a call option after this weak bearish candle because they may think that oh it's a weak bearish candle so it's near to the there is a level here here also it's working okay that's why i plot a blue line here and most of the people may take a call option after this okay but here it's a confirmation candle okay i mean this weak bearish is the confirmation candle to go with sellers because we know that after this pattern the market should go down right okay the market should go down and it's a retracement okay it's a retracement and after that actually most of the time if you are seeing these candle as a retracement then again we can expect bias entry but here it don't end it because of this gap up open okay it's also mentioned in the ebook clearly if there is any gap up or gap down this one may fluctuate okay that I also mentioned just wait okay so after this uh, this one is the confirmation candle to go with sellers because uh, if this candle close around this then also bias may again go up okay but it's broke okay so it's a bearish reverse sign after this the sellers will enter and try to go down okay this wait i expect that everyone got clear it's nothing it's a confirmation candle okay because it's a reversal pattern and after that there is a retracement because of this uptrend there is a retracement bullish candle and after retracement we can see a sellers confirmation candle okay that's why i placed a call put option in this candle and it was also winning trade okay so we can move to the next one 
okay we can discuss this one that's why i placed a call option in this candle it's nothing i just go with the trend okay because if you observe here we need to consider this is the next possible reversal still there is a gap so the market should try to fill that gap or otherwise we can draw a line like this just wait here also we can consider this like a level right this like a level because here we can see there is a breakout there is a breakout this point i mean this bearish candle this bearish candle broke the opening point of this bullish okay it's a breakout there is a breakout uh in the previous video i clearly mentioned about this one how to use this setup effectively okay this will working that's why just wait here also we can see after this it's tested here okay try to make a retracement but fail and this is the confirmation to again go with sellers okay here also it's a bullish candle and it was the opening point and it broke by this bearish candle so just draw okay so it is working so here it is the next possible reversal area and just draw okay and still there is a gap okay if you draw it will be like this and still there is a gap that's why i placed a call option i just go to the trend and i consider this is the next possible reversal or this okay the resistance is between just wait the resistance is between these points okay these levels so still there is a gap that's the reason why i placed a call option okay we can discuss this one that's why i placed a put option in this candle okay and we can see it was also winning trade here we can see the market is not much good condition right it's consolidating between these two points right means there is a resistance here and also there is a support here okay and just wait it's a strong resistance right it's a strong resistance and it's a strong support we know that from the support area the buyers will enter right and from the resistance area the sellers will also enter and just look where the market closed now it closed at the resistance okay we know that it's a strong resistance right so we can expect sellers entry because now the market closed at the resistance so we can expect sellers entry and now just wait and now this candle closed in the middle okay and we know that it is the support area so it should try to fill the gap okay we can see again the seller entry and also before making i mean before breaking the snr level i mean this consolidation area the market will give you some sign that is a wick like this okay so if you seeing a new low or new high must alert just better to wait for the breakout then only take trade with the confirmation candle otherwise it will be risky and also uh, sometimes it will make gap up okay like this and also it may make gap down also then also it may go up and here it may go down if it's make any gap down open okay it is lacking it's skipping that level okay most of the time the market will make new high or new low before breakout i mean before breaking that consolidation area it will give you the sign okay sign is in the form of wick okay most of the time the market will make strong wick like this and it may break or the same in the case of sellers i mean if the market make any new low okay it may chance to go down i am talking the case of the consolidation area okay 
so we expect that everyone got clear it's nothing the market closed at the resistance that's why i placed a put option and it was also winning trade okay now we can discuss this one that's why i placed a call option in this candle with a good margin of safety right here we can see here also the market making so many wicks here and everywhere okay we can see so many wicks and also in the left side we can see a reversal okay some reversal here also it's working okay here also it's working but i placed a call option because it closed this point only okay this point and sometimes it may try to fill this gap okay may try to fill this gap and sometimes it will direct growers like this okay after it may go up here if you observe we can see that from this point we can see some bias pressure right here also when it hit suddenly reject okay actually here the sellers try to go down but when it hit this point suddenly reject and go up and form a bullish candle like this right which means the buyers are active at that area and also here we can see a round number okay that's also very very important in the otc market because in the otc the market will respect most of the round numbers here also we can see when it hit the round number it's reversed right here also it is working and i place my order just below of that round number okay i know that when the market hit that round number it may chance to reject and also most of the time after the spinning top again we can expect bullish entry because it may try to fill that gap that's why i place the call option but i place my order with a good margin of safety sometimes i know that it may make bearish candle like this okay it's a direct reversal without filling the gap and after next one may go up okay again the buyers will try to go more up okay so always try to place your order with a good margin of safety okay then that should be good we you can easily avoid so many losses and also these kind of unexpected direct reversal also we can avoid okay so always try to place your order with good margin of safety okay now we can discuss this one that's why i placed a call option in this candle okay here if you observe we can see there's a strong support here and there is a strong resistance here the market is consolidating here also right the market is between this area and it's consolidating and if you observe we can see that the market uh, close at the support area with a rejection okay but it made a new low here also in the previous trade i mentioned that if you are seeing a new low or new high in the consolidation area must alert right but here it's reversed directly and i placed a call option and it was a winning trade okay okay then we can come to the point how it's break okay if you find these kind of new low but here the number one reason okay if it is trying the first attempt right okay but sometimes it will break in the first attempt also at that time we can we can consider this like candle number 1 and this bullish candle number 2 right it's 2 and this one 1 okay it is the closing point of the candle number 1 right i mean it closed here and it made a wick and it is the opening point of the candle number 2 there is no fluctuation same closing point and same opening point right again once more it is the closing point of this bearish candle and it is the opening point of this bullish candle there is no fluctuation it opened exactly at the closing point of the previous one okay and if there is any fluctuation in the candle number 2 opening point i mean if the candle number 2 made any gap up open like this 
then it may chance to go down and break that level or it may make another bearish candle it may chance to make another bearish candle okay in the consolidation area the cap c is very very important okay that's how it's breaking that level if this one made any gap up open then it may try to go down okay most of the time it, it should go down but if there is any level here then it may after hitting it may go up also but here there is no fluctuation i don't find any fluctuation and this candle number one close at the support area with a rejection and also it's a first atom that the market made new low okay and there is no fluctuation there is no gap up open here that's why i placed a call option with confidence and it was also winning trade okay so i expect that everyone got clear we can move to the next one okay if there is any fluctuation in the op closing point and the opening point of the next candle okay there is any gap up open it may chance to go down but here there is no fluctuation that's why i placed a call option and it was winning trade okay we can discuss the final trade that's why i placed a put option in this candle okay here if you observe here we can see here also the market is consolidating right same chart the market is between these two levels right it's consolidating okay it's consolidating and just wait and here we can see if we plot a trend line like this it is respecting here after this reversed here also when the buyers reach this level again sellers entry okay and also it's an engulfing pattern right it's a bullish engulfing pattern and after that i'm not seeing the right retracement candle here in the ebook it's clearly mentioned that after this if it's a hammer then we can trust that okay we can go with buyers but if you are seeing a spinning top most of the time it may chance to go down and we here we can see it's a spinning top and also there is a level it is respecting that level okay so many reasons to go with sellers here okay this level is very very important okay the market is moving like this okay it's respecting every time and now also the market close at that point it will act like a resistance okay but in front of seeing this this bearish candle if you found a bearish hammer then that may go up at least for one minute that may go up okay but here it's a spinning top so this bullish engulfing node work okay in the ebook it's clearly mentioned that okay if you are seeing a spinning top as a retracement then again the sellers may go down most of the time here same scenario that we can see here okay same market condition okay i expect that uh it's good clear for everyone if you have any doubts you can ask me my contact details on the description okay so I expect that everyone going well and now I am going to stop this video all of you wish you good profit and also at the end of this month if we can expect bad market because of the year ending so everyone must take carefully and also try to take some limited trades okay so I am going to stop this video